Hello, this is Brett from Survival Comms, and this is video response to the Step 1 Survival Bug Out Bag Inch Bag Challenge. And the subject of this video is water. Now, with this system right here, which the entire system you see here weighs 21 ounces and has several redundancies built into it. Uh, and it performs four important functions, which is the collection of water, the treatment of water, the transport of water, and the consumption of water. Now, as far as transport is concerned, this system provides me the capability to transport a gallon of water on or about my person ready for use. And that is facilitated with the hydration bladder and with the titanium water bottle. And here is the contents of my kit laid out. So let's talk about collection options. You know, we, we often picture water supplies looking like this. More often than not, in a situation to where you were bugging out, they would likely look like this. In my opinion, bugging out is a stealth camping exercise where you could have life or death consequences with being discovered in your campsite or when you're on the move. So, water collection, I believe in bulk collection. I believe in going to a source of water once, collecting all the water you need, and then relocating to an area of concealment to treat your water. This is a two and a half gallon Ziploc bag. And this is my main bulk collection device right here. You merely open it up, fill it with water, and place it in one of these grocery bags here to assist you in transporting it away from the water source, and you're good to go. And collect our water. You can see we've got almost a gallon of water right there. And you can see it's not going anywhere with the zip closure. The shopping bag provides an additional puncture layer and allows easy transport. This is a two quart Sawyer bag that I have configured for my gravity feed filter setup. I merely punched holes in the end of it, made an incision along the back side of it, essentially turning this into a very large funnel. And this also facilitates water collection, where you can scoop this with water quickly, grasp it by this, and take it away. Now, I've got this cap on here, which is just one from a, a dish soap container, which is nice because it's got a small thing. So if you needed to do a slow dispense out of this container, you could do so. Go ahead and attach your gravity filter hose system, which is, this is about three foot of platypus line with an adapter. And then I use the Camelback Hydrolock adapters. I pretty much standardize those in my stuff. And to set this up for gravity feeding, you would support this on a tree or other high point. You could put it on a branch or you could use cordage to put it on the tree. I have a uh, fishing swivel is what I use to attach it to the cordage. And once it's hooked to the tree, you fill your bladder up. And once that bladder is full, you open your discharge. Go ahead and flush your line. Close your discharge. Take your filter with the hydrolock adapter, attach it on here, open your cap, start flowing, and what you'd have to do, if this filter is dry, you're going to end up having to draw on this. You're going to, just like if you were 
fit drawing water out of a container with it. You would have to draw water out of it until the water starts to flow. The gravity system flows about 500 milliliters a minute, and that being the case, it gives you time while it's working on its own to go do other camp tasks or other tasks while you're allowing water to flow into your container of choice. I can disconnect the filter from here to allow me to connect this to a water bottle or another squeeze bladder as originally intended. And this is a one quart bag. The one quart bags are like 1.2 ounces in weight. Or with this provided attachment which allows it to function similar to a life straw to where you can actually draw your water from another container or from a source of water. I'm not big on laying down on the ground and proning out and drinking water from a water source, but if necessary, you could certainly do so with this. I also have this, which is a charcoal element that I just have a piece of silicone tubing on, and I've plugged this other end of it. This is a Brita Sport Bottle, bottle Filter, and you can look these up if you want. Uh, they're about $4 a piece, and I believe they have a lifetime of 40 gallons. But this right here will remove a lot of nasty flavors from your water. So if you were filtering water and you wanted to get the chlorine taste out of it, or if you are treating water and had iodine or bleach taste in it or whatever, if you ran your water through your filter, attach this to your filter like this, you can allow your gravity system to feed through here, or you can actually hook this up as a squeeze system and push water through this charcoal element. The charcoal element also removes chemicals uh, and if you're interested in knowing exactly what it removes you can actually you can go on the Brita website and get that information for yourself. I carry an additional 64 ounce Sawyer bag. Uh, this one is unmodified except for punching the holes for using cordage with it and I also have a sport bottle cap that's similar to the one from the smart water bottle and if I'm filling this with clean water it just plugs in on the top of it right here like that. You want to crack it a little bit so it allows the air inside this container to be displaced by the water. Okay, these are the accessories I would carry here. I carry one extra cap. I use a syringe to clean my Sawyer. Um, I believe that the syringe does a better job than using the sport bottle cap with the sport bottle or the uh, squeeze reservoir, which I could certainly do so with that if this was ever lost. Cordage for the seven foot of 550 cord. And I have several of these right here, which are your small binder clips. The silicone funnel is a uh, multifunction item. If I put the clip on the base of it here, I can use this to collect water from a, a very poor water source if necessary. for a below grade water source such as this I could set this up as a uh, pitcher type bucket. We're going to invert our funnel flip up one end of the binder clip like that just make a round turn don't make a half hitch and fold it down just like that there so you can see how we pre-rigged it Okay, now we're lowering it down. Now we watch it fills. It unclips itself and we hoist it up. Every time the funnel comes up, it's pulling up about eight ounces of water. So it's not a very fast process. But it seems to work pretty good. Again, lower it down. And there we have it. I can place a piece of cotton material on this right here and it gives it a large mouth opening to fill and pre-filter water for containers that have a smaller opening. And by turning it inside out, you know, it looks like a little bunt pan, but you have a cup. 
I carry iodine in my first aid kit, so I have this eyedropper right here, and I can use this for iodine or bleach or whatever I happen to have on hand to treat water as the, as the need arises. Uh, this all gets transported in this mesh sack, which allows it to dry. This is a 700 milliliter titanium bottle. The cap actually weighs more than the bottle itself. But you can boil water in this, and you can also transport water in this, and consume water from this container, of course. And it weighs absolutely nothing. Now, this is replacing my stainless steel bottle. I just bought this the other day, and I've had this thing for a while. And this bottle here, although the capacity is, of course, less than this one here by about 12 ounces, the weight of it is so much less. This weighs about 11 ounces. This weighs 5 ounces. And this is my bladder system. Uh, I drink a lot of water on the move, uh, and I use a hydration system every single day. I mean, it's hot where I live, so I'm constantly drinking water, and this allows me to do so. Now, the Geiger rig is a great system. Now, I use it in this configuration right here. I do not use it with the bulb that comes with it. If you look at a Geiger rig review, uh, they've got a, a bulb and you can pressurize the second chamber in this bladder and it becomes almost like an infusion pump and it pressurizes it. In just using it as a hydration bladder, I've never found that to be advantageous. So to save the weight, I've left that behind. Uh, the bladder itself is a great design. It's extremely durable. You can turn it inside out to allow it to dry. It uses a clip type system and just folding it over. You can see this is where your air would go right here for your your uh, air bladder side of it. And also if I was ever to lose this, which is this tethered on here, which is the clip, you can fold this over right here and utilize one of these binder clips if necessary. And configured like this, if I had to move quickly and had to use the bladder as a bulk collection device, I can take my existing filter system and attach it to here and use it to drink on the go. So you can see my water system provides um, numerous ways to fulfill all four functions. Collection, treatment filtration, transport, and consumption. I hope this helps. This is Brett from Survival Comms. Till next time.